Okay, so let's get started. Um, first off, uh, concert program. I'm going to put it in the chat and you can follow along. Okay. Um, my name is Kei He. I'm a multimedia artist at the University of Arizona. I'm also the director of Turn Up Multimedia Festival. And welcome to join us for a fabulous day full of creativities, inspirations, and cool multimedia pieces. Our co-director this year is Mike McFerrin and Mark Webster. Mike is a composer and educator. He teaches at Lewis University in Chicago area. Mark is a composer, audio engineer, and a visual artist. He is the director of Blue on Blue Recording Studio located in Rochester, New York. And you can see his background, he's in his studio now. <laughs> because of COVID, we're unable to gather in person, but we are artists, so our superpower is being creative. So we use this virtual venue and mix with our innovative visions created this unique multimedia festival during the pandemic. The way we listen to music, appreciate art, even the way that we make music or created art has been changed, probably permanently. Um, being artists, we are not only to adapt these changes, we're also trying to make it better than ever by giving opportunities to composers, musicians, and the visual artists to express themselves as a community to the audience all over the world without physically in the same place. That's just amazing. I believe we will rebuild our new music community in a very special way. As many of you already know, Turn Up promotes equality and inclusion, culture connecting and interdisciplinary collaboration. We are especially interested in partnering performers and composers and artists from all different geographic locations, cultures, and the gender identities. This year, we launched a call for submission. Actually, we launched two call for submissions. One is featuring the four um, soloists. And also another call is to um, call for fixed media works. We received a total more than 300 submissions around the world. Um, the submissions displayed an impressive diversity of styles and artistic point views. They also demonstrated the strong aesthetic statements and the technology innovations in our field. On concerts, we will feature the four rock star soloists and the 36 inspiring artists from around the globe. Turn Up's goal is not only to create more opportunities to present new music and new media, but also to turn up the visibility of underrepresented artists and bring true equality to art and technology. Today we have eight multimedia concerts with artists interviews and audience Q&A sessions right after each concert. After our last concert, we'll have a virtual happy hour where you can meet the soloists and the artists connecting with old friends and also making new friends. You can find the happy hour link on Turn Up's website. All right, it's time to get our concert started. Um, as uh, you see, I'm just going to paste this again for the ones that joined later. You can find the concert program in the chat, okay? Our um, first featuring, um, our first concert is featuring violinist Barbara Kolorova. Barbara is recognized as one of the foremost violinists to emerge from the Czech Republic in recent years. She is an artist of creative balances, always looking back and looking forward to find new balances between past and present. She was trained in classical tradition with great details and a virtuosity, but with the creative intent to use these skills to generate new standards in classical music 
by collaborating with living composers on new works and also uncovering lost works from the past. Barbara is also the founder and artistic director of the Lake George Music Festival. Let's welcome violinist Barbara Kolarova. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you, Kai. Thank you for having me at the Turn Up Festival. It's such a pleasure to be here. And it's so nice to see so many people. Um, this is amazing. And, you know, I'm so impressed what you have been able to put together. It's like a real audience that you can see in front of you, you know, so it's, it's really nice. Thank you. Um, I'm really happy to be here, as I said, and I'm so incredibly excited to present all these works for you. We have, I have four pieces uh, by Rain Worthington, by uh, Melissa Dunphy, Daniel, um, Daniel uh, Whitworth, sorry, I just lost my video for a second. Um, so I'm so incredibly happy uh, to be presenting it and also one world premiere by Nick Hubble. So there's lots that we have been working on with the composers and Mark Webster, and it has been such a pleasure. I had such an amazing time working on the pieces and on the recordings and the videos with Mark. And I'm incredibly excited to present it to you all and I hope you enjoy it. So Mark, whenever you're ready to play our concert, please enjoy and Thank you for being here.
Wow, <laughs> such great performance. That's just mind blowing and amazing pieces here. Um, okay, so now let's invite our artists on the virtual stage. Um, you are welcome to unmute. Let me allow you to unmute yourself. And uh, you're welcome to unmute yourself and start your video. And let's give all the artists and the composers and performer a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so um, if you have any questions and you can raise your hands by using the reaction function located on the bottom right of your Zoom window. And uh, you can, or you can just unmute yourself to um, speak up. Do we have uh, questions from the audience? Okay, no, now, okay. So um, I have questions. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> so first of all, Barbara, um, amazing performance. It's just absolutely mind blowing. And, um, you know, I have a question for you that how do you like this new way, like new format and new experience as a soloist to presenting pieces? Um. Well, um, it's it's very interesting. You know, I have done some virtual performances throughout the year, but nothing like this. It was always like a live stream concert right. and you never see the audience. This is amazing, you know? It's, it's, really, it's really wonderful because you can see everybody and now we can all talk and discuss everything. It's mm -hmm. it's kind of like, like we're actually in a concert hall. Almost. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Cool. Yeah, great. Okay, so I have a couple uh, questions for um, uh, the composers. Rain, so you're here. Yeah, okay. So um, you said in your program note that uh, a quiet introspection and contemplating of life in the hours of evening twilight. It's such a like poetic imagery that you're portraying here. So where did you get the inspiration? Well, it's, it's not really meant to be um, sound painting in terms of the actual evening light. Um, it's more um, kind of a, like Daniel's piece, kind of a, a, a questioning of meaning. Um, when meaning has um, uh, changed and you lose meaning that you've held on to or that others have held on to. And um, to kind of recenter and re 
regain a meaning to life. And uh, at, I wrote it at a time when I was caring for someone um, with dementia. And so um, memories were kind of fading and the, the meaning that had been there wasn't there. So, so it's, not, um, it's not per se a, a painting. Uh, I see. Yeah. Wow, that's just really deep and uh, such a great inspiration. Yeah, well, thank you for sharing. And yeah. a very emotional piece. I can definitely yeah. feel the energy yeah. from and it. It was a wonderful performance. It was gorgeous. <laughs> thank you. I know, Barbara did a wonderful job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, um, Mark uh, added the, the video to match the color of the indigo. <laughs> I hope you like that. So. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Mark. Perfect. All right. So my next question is for Nick. So uh, Nick, it's a this is a, a crazy piece, right? <laughs> Music wise, performance wise and video wise. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, but it's kind of a deep, there is a deep meaning from your program notes that you wrote. You mentioned that archaeology is an exploration of the past which I agree, but how do you, you know, construct your music to explore the past? Well, it was sort of an idea that, um, what if we could archive or you could find sounds of the past, obviously, uh, because recording is going back, it goes back maybe a hundred or so years, but all that stuff, especially Renaissance and before and Egyptian and all that. So, I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful? But then again, I thought, how would that manifest itself? Because if the sound is going to be all together, how do, you, how do you deal with it? Right. Just, But I also thought of just when we dig up the earth and there's several layers of cities that are you know, a thousand years apart, you find these things layered together. So that was kind of the inspiration of the mayhem. <laughs> but I also wanted to have a reflection on, uh, having gone through all that, the beauty of just being in the present. And so that's where some of the very um, quiet um, moments happen. The beautiful uh, part, super well, beautiful, yes. I, I have to say the performance, um, I'm sure Barbara wanted to kill me at certain times on that piece. <laughs> well, Barbara, it's a hard piece. Um, no, it's easy. <laughs> yes, easy. I can put it. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it can be challenging, of course, but anything can be challenging. And, but it was such a joy to work on it. I've really enjoyed it. Well, thank you very much. And Mark, I loved the imagery. Oh, thank you. Um, and it just, it, it matched so beautifully. When I first saw it, I was a little jarred. I said, well, I thought there was going to be a performance, you know. <laughs> and then I saw that this was actually a performance of video as well. So it was a very nice uh, marriage. And I know you did that fairly quickly, too. So I really appreciate <laughs> thank you. it. It's very well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, well done, uh, Mark. So I have a question for you too. So in the <coughs> video that to match the concept of the piece that you explore this idea of an you know, archeology span of the video performance, right? In different steps, that's just brilliant. Could you tell us more a little bit about your sure. approach? I really, I really liked Nicholas's concept of find, of like an archeologist exploring and finding sound events. I thought that was just so compelling. So I thought, well, if there's some way I could kind of mirror that, but on the visual side. And so uh, basically what the video does is it imagines the same kind of process, but on, in video. And so it explores five different areas of the visual arts. So there's ink, pen and ink. There is um, uh, digital sensors like you would find in a camera or in a, in a modern, you know, in a modern camera. There's the whole uh, uh, early projectors, black and white TV turning into color TV, turning into the very, very first digital video, very, very low resolution back in the 80s. Um, to the film, which was the negative, uh, that turned in eventually to the full color. Oh, and there was a, another section on printing science. That's where you saw the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black because of those the four separations that create modern print. So basically, it was kind of like an art. It was the same concept that was so inspired by Nicholas's music to see if we could just imagine an archaeologist finding visual art artifacts and how they would kind of jumble up and 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 come out of come out of the earth. Wow, that's that's amazing and so inspiring too. The my favorite moment is that block R B G 
A block that comes in. That was just like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. So the last piece, uh, Melissa's piece, a、uh, super fun piece. But Melissa is not able to join us today because um time difference and.、Um, Uh, also, we're going to thank you, Mark, to put on that super fun video with the gigantic computer behind Barbara. Barbara, I hope you enjoyed <coughs> playing in front of that computer. <laughs> It was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So,、um, want to Mark, talk about also... Daniel's piece? Oh yeah, so Daniel Psis, I skipped one. So sorry. Okay, so、um, yeah, I do have questions for Daniel Psis. Such a beautiful piece. It just amazingly putting everything together. So how did you come up with this idea using words and live instruments and the electroacoustic music to tell a story? It's a storytelling. It's like a movie. So effective and dramatic. Well, thank you. That's just a great question.、Um, and around when Barbara and I started discussing the possibility of collaborating on like a new piece, I'd been reading a biography about Almer Rose. So when it came time to start sketching out ideas, I just could not separate the two. Like her story was just kind of swimming around in my head, and I just had to like put it into music. And so that's kind of where I got the idea of making this、um, what I would call like a musical biography,、um, kind of telling her story. Originally, without the use of text, just through like aesthetic and、uh, like a soundscape alone, and in the beginning, there wasn't going to be an electronic accompaniment. It was originally supposed to be just a solo work, and so there's a lot of brainstorming on what exactly that would look like. You know, would it be a linear telling of her story,、um, and how how would I be able to effectively communicate anything about this person through music alone? And so, for inspiration, I had been listening to. Alma Rose's only surviving recording,、um, the one you hear in the piece in the background. I've been listening to that just for you know ideas and to kind、mm. of try to understand her musically a little more. And then it just hit me that I、mm. I had to include the recording. It had to it had to be there playing alongside of the、right. soloist. And so that kind of just became the canvas on which I composed the piece. And as for the text.、Um, You know, originally this was supposed to be a live premiere, and there was going to be no text element whatsoever. But you know, the the video format ended up being kind of a blessing in disguise because I got the opportunity to put the text in the video and kind of contextualize her story throughout. And I think it works really well, and especially with Barbara's amazing performance. Yeah,、I'm, thank you so much for.、It's Yes, it's amazing, and it's amazing piece, amazing performance, and just so beautifully putting it together. There are moments that I have just hairs on my arm, completely standing up, chills. It just, I feel tears in my eyes. It just great. Congratulations to you both. Yeah, thank you so much.、It、means a lot.、Yeah. Um. All right. I think um this is a good time to finish our first concert. So、uh, let's take a five minutes break, and we'll start our next concert in Tucson time, ten fifty two, and then Eastern time should be one fifty two, two fifty two. Am I right? One fifty two. One fifty two. Ah, three hours difference. Yes, one fifty two. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> 